I would just start off, I mean, this is going to be a challenging week at, at Oregon, at Oregon State, two, you know, two good basketball teams, and our guys are working hard. The spirit is good. The energy is good. Obviously, we've got a couple Pac-12 wins under our belt, but uh, this will be a, you know, a, a real challenge for our team. We had a good practice yesterday. Hopefully, we can do the same today and uh, just keep trying to improve and get better and see if we can keep playing faster. And if we can do that, we'll have a chance. But uh, Oregon on their home floor is hard to beat, and Oregon State on their home floor is hard to beat. But we're excited about the week. Seems like maybe uh, sustaining effort on the road will be a challenge, as well as tightening some things up like the turnovers. Well, turnovers is a major, major concern because Oregon in their last three games, they've turned people over at about 18 a game, and we just had 22 in our last game. So that will be a huge part of this game that we can keep turnovers down. And I think our spirit will be up, our energy will be up. We're going to play fast. We're going to play with great speed. We're certainly try to. That'll be the game plan going in. But we do have to play fast but efficient. We can't turn the ball over, especially on the road. If you turn it over on the road, you really don't give your team a, a great chance to win. So turnovers for us and keeping those turnovers down will be a big part of this game. How do you clean that up, though? That's kind of a trick. <laughs> well, we want to play faster. We want to play with great speed. Sometimes when you play faster, it sounds like you're playing more reckless. But in really, maybe you're making a few less passes, maybe a few less opportunities to turn the ball over. If we can get it down quick, get it up on the glass, you've got good athletic rebounders. So uh, we've just got to keep an eye on it and, and to try to pass it better, catch it better, and make better decisions. And if we can do that, we can, we can get them down. How, how have they played differently since Bowl Bowl went down? Well, obviously losing Bowl Bowl and losing Wooten, they lost two key parts of their team. And uh, both those guys are really good players. They've still got eight or nine really, really good players, and they're hard to beat there. But um, certainly they're a different team now with, without Bowl and without Wooten. You guys have only shot, I think, 33.6 from three-point range. Do, do you think that maybe you need to de-emphasize the three, given that? Do you think this team can, can be a good three-point shooting team the rest of the season? No. Look at that. Well, we're going to just keep, we're going to try to play fast. I don't, we don't go into a game saying, guys, we're going to take 70 shots and 35 are going to be threes and 45 are going to, or 35 are going to be twos. We just, we just, we're just going to play. We're going to try to play fast, play with great speed. We just want good shots. Again, we've talked about it, but, but analytically, you want shots in the paint. If you can't get shots in the paint, you want clean threes. Anything in between there is really not a great shot. So we've been getting the ball to the paint a lot. We've got some good shooters. I've got a lot of confidence in our shooters. We've just got to take clean threes. Contested threes are obviously not good shots, so we want to stay away from that. But we, we do want to get up a lot of threes. Since you've taken over for Coach Alford, have you seen more competitiveness in practice of people saying, like, there's a new coach, so I'm fighting for playing time, kind of resetting that aspect of it? Or is it just kind of status quo in that regard with competing for playing time? Not really. Not really. I don't think there's been any change there. Uh, our practices were very, very competitive, competitive under Steve. We try to have a great spirit in our practices as well. So I don't see any change there. Cody's minutes are down a bit these last two games. Is that just a function of kind of feeling things out with this team right now? You know, his minutes have been down. There's no big of a, a fan of Cody Riley than me. And so I'm a little surprised, but it's just kind of some circumstances. I think you'll see a big change there. I think Cody is a, is a real difference maker on our team. He's strong. He's aggressive. He's good at both ends. And there was some foul trouble. We got into a flow when he was not in there, so we went with some other guys. But I'm a, I'm a huge, huge Cody Riley fan, and I think as we progress, you'll see him playing a lot more minutes and being on the floor a lot more. I don't know how much you get into the psychology of the game, but they lost their home opener in the Pac-12. Uh, how much does that make winning there on their court? How much harder does that make it, given that they already kind of have lost a home game there? I don't, I don't think it really means anything. Obviously, this game will be important to them, just like it will be for us. And 
obviously Dana's a heck of a coach and he's got really good players and uh, we just we're just going to kind of go in there and do our thing do what we tried to do against Stanford and Cal and um, it's it'll be a hard test but I think our guys are really excited one non-conference true road game was a bit of a shopping system at Cincinnati and now you go on the road again what do you hope that this team learned from that one road experience well, we don't want to play like we played at Cincinnati, obviously. I think, again, that was two and a half weeks ago. So I do think right now we're playing like a different team a little bit than we were then. And Cincinnati was an incredibly tough matchup for us. I don't care if we played them then or now, but they're, a, they're not an easy team to play. And they had a sellout in that game, and that was a tough environment. And we just didn't play real well. But... Uh, so this is a whole kind of a new day, new week, and I think we're playing a little bit different than we were then. Would you say the main difference between then and now is the confidence of this team? It seems like they're playing with more confidence and faster as a result. You'd have to ask them, but I, all we're trying to do, uh, we, I've said it a lot, but we've got great athleticism, we've got great speed, we've got a lot of versatility with our guys. We can play different groups of guys together, and then we've got depth. So we're just trying as best we can to use that. So play very fast at both ends, press a little bit more, let the guys run a little bit more, and that's what we're trying to do. And again, it's just two games. It's not a very big sample size, but uh, for the most part, I've been pretty pleased. There's still a lot of things that we've got to tweak a little bit. And we've got a lot, we talked about turnovers. We're not good on the glass. So there's some things we've got to get better at, but. The spirit's great, the energy's great, and I know our guys are pretty excited right now.